So, the food problem is basically weight. Um, for every day that a backpacker is out, they carry anywhere from a pound and a half to two and a half pounds of food. It's a big discrepancy. That's the difference between, I think, like six pounds of food and 10 pounds of food. So that is a lot of weight. And that has got me thinking that I should definitely do the, um, I'm lost here. Where am I supposed to be going? Is that the yellow trail? Ah, we'll find it. Um, <clears throat> is that there's orange right there that goes on for a bit? Um, so that has definitely got me thinking about the lighter weight backpacks, the ultralight packs. Um, there is a waterproof one I'm looking at, the Hyperlite. Um, it's basically a waterproof bag with straps on it. Um, which the other bag that I was going to use uh, weighs about, I don't know, nine pounds, something like that. A lot of people, stranger danger, is the problem. Um, and that's why we're going to try to go with the, an ultralight pack, which we'll, might get in like a week or two. Um, we are working on, my one friend likes to pack like actual food out versus like backpacker meals, which are freeze dried things. Um, which, I mean, there's something to be said for that. The, I had had a problem with some of the meals and that they just gave me like, they just hurt my stomach, gave me horrible gas. And I think that part of that was that, um, you're supposed to drink a lot of water with those meals. Cause if you're not, if you haven't dehydrated those meals properly, then they're actually taking the water out of your system, which is not good. Oh, did you guys hear a duck? There's a lot of ducks out here today. Um, <laughs> so we're out with the coops twilight coming in and we've got snacks are my big thing i like to eat all day while i'm hiking that's another reason i like to hike so like every hour you're you're down in a snack anywhere from two to four hundred calories um the good thing about this trail is that there is supposedly a little deli it's a famous appalachian trail deli that's right at the start of the trail so i'm probably gonna load up on sandwiches so i'm only gonna pack this might come back to hurt me, is three days worth of food versus four. Because I'm hoping to load up on stuff at that um, little Appalachian Trail Deli. Um, and then about three-fourths of the way into the trip, oh, we got some deer up here. I don't know if you can see them or not. Let's see how close we can get to them. Hey, guys, what's going on? They are eating their dinner. Cooper's about to go crazy. Not, not a real hound dog, this one, but... He'll get up there eventually. Okay, we got three of them there. This guy's right in the path. All right, sorry, dude. Just coming through. Oh, there it's a couple of just probably a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Cooper, come on. So y'all probably don't know this, but a deer will kill a small dog. No problem. They will rear up on their hind legs and smash down with it. With they are... How much weight? This guy's weighing... I don't know. He might be 200 pounds. But that would definitely, like, smash his little head in. So, yeah, he didn't want to back off. <laughs> kind of interesting little little wild kingdom for you um so yeah the food problem is basically a weight problem um <clears throat> a lot of on the at backpackers and i've done this before is you put your food in a bag and you throw it up into a tree and you hang it from a limb so the bears don't get to it i've done that in the catskills um and on the at too uh but benefits of a bear canister is really meant for uh, like grizzly country and uh, I think some of the national parks you have to have it or they won't get you camp overnight in there they actually um, train the bears not to go by those canisters um, you will see it soon maybe here's a good edit place to put the canister job so here is the canister the bear canister it's got the tape around it let me show you what happened here little 
probably a little trash bandit was trying to get in there, scratching his way in. Left a couple marks on the side, and I got bored with it. So, yeah, that was out in the caskets. So I'm going to show you um, how to open the sky. You need a coin, because bears usually don't carry money with them. They're all credit card nowadays. And you will um, counterclockwise open this, and then there's a little button in the back that we're going to press. It's going to pop it right out, and then we're going to take a look at what we have inside. I'll use some freeze dried meals from a week ago. They're up for me. And kale and beans, too. We'll put that in there. It'll taste good on the trail. It doesn't look good now. There's some um, tuna here in the pack, which is I always think about throwing that out now. So, it is. I might not bring it. Um, and this is my favorite. You can get it out of here. Angle it out. Come on. Uh, here we go. Um, this is the Thai curry, which is, it's curried rice and vegetables. It's actually really quite tasty, but I almost always end up putting too much water into it, so it becomes a Thai curry soup. Anyway, we're going to close this back up, put it in there. We're going to take the coin and turn it clockwise. You'll hear a nice little click once it's done right. take this and try to lift it with the camera under the ground and show you how we can use it as a, um, a seating apparatus. <coughs> it's pretty nice. It doesn't have a back, but it's a nice little stool to sit on. If there's nothing to sit on or everything else is wet, here we go. And that's it. That's the bear canister. Um, so talked about the weight, I talked about the canister, um, and then it's the snacks, so I have to be careful not to, I have a tendency to eat all my food once I get out there, which is not good because on the last trip I went on, I didn't have any food for like the last half of the day, and you can do without it, it's just kind of, kind of sucks, because when you're hiking you start to do this thing they call the bonk, which is where you run out of energy, and what you just need is a little candy bar or something to keep you going. And ooh, I think I'm gonna get some Snickers for this trip. And the weather, I think it's gonna be similar to what we're experiencing now. Um, it's uh, a little, I don't honestly, I think it's gonna be a little colder. So I think this will be the coldest hiking that I've done, I think. And if it rains, that will make it les miserables. Miserables, les miserables. But I'll be outside, so I think I'll be happy no matter what happens. The trail is a ridge on the AT running from basically the northern corner of New Jersey down to the Delaware Water Gap covering, is it 32 miles, 36 miles, something like that? That is where I will be, what is today? Tuesday? Yeah. Two weeks from, is that right? Two weeks from now? Yeah, two weeks from now, that's where, where I'll be. And hopefully we'll be shooting a little video. I got to remember to take a, um, a little charger battery so I can recharge my um, phone. Um, but what I was trying to say is three-fourths of the way into the trail there is another sort of resupply spot called the Mohegan Outdoor Center. I had done a uh, backpacking class with REI there. REI, REI there. And they sell candy bars and stuff like that too. So, And the other thing is I like to carry a bunch of water. Typically I will carry anywhere between two and three liters. A liter of water, I think, weighs about at least a pound, if not a pound and a half. Um, uh, so I have been told there's plenty of water on the trail and that I should just um, just carry a liter. So I'll probably have like a liter and a half camelback thing that I will probably mess around with and then I'll probably have a little quart of Gatorade it's like a fun little treat on the lunch of the second day. And we're going out with a couple of guys. Usually we share food, but I think with the COVID, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, and that is what the food problem is. Weight, mostly. Um, and then keeping the critters out of it, which so far I've had the canister out in the Catskills for two nights and it did pretty well 
there's something interesting that happened to it. I'll show you that. Um, or I probably already just showed you that. So, um, but it was one, the second morning I got it, there was, um, there were all these spider webs like all around it and you could just tell it was undisturbed for the whole evening. Um, so that is what's going on as far as the hike goes. We have got to keep putting off the prep because I want to get that other backpack. But everything is loaded in the old backpack. And just for fun, I might take it out in the rain tomorrow. Um, just to, I could actually test out the water socks. The water socks? The waterproof socks tomorrow.